Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be doing an organizational video about how I organize my dies and where I put them and how I get them um, where they need to go and just the whole system that I use to do that. So let's get started. So the first that, um, one that we're going to do is the large die. So the system that I use, yeah, I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the container. And I try, some of these, I try not to put them away until I've actually made a video with them or used them in some way. Um, and I haven't used this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it away just for you guys for this video purposes. And hopefully remember to pull it back out to use it, even though it is an old die and I don't know if anyone's interested in the cake pop-up dies, but if you are, um, let me know and I can make a video. So the instruction sheets I put in a binder. I think you may have seen my instruction sheet binder. It's actually quite overflowing right now, but I'll pull it right out again. It's in the clear Avery clear cover heavy duty, duty for extended use binder. And this binder is nice because it has a big opening and it's not attached to the spine. And so everything can um, fall over and just keep on going. So uh, this is where I put <laughs> all of my instruction sheets and then I kind of have them labeled that whatever makes sense to me and whatever section I like them in. And so uh, that's my binder. So that's where the instruction sheet will end up going now that I've taken it out. So this die, before I get label it, is gonna go into this, um, by, um what is this uh, like thing here? <laughs> Paper storage box. But I use it as a die binder. So this is uh, from Anna Griffin. This is a Lillian collection. And so you can see, I just uh, stack the die sheets in here and you can have multiples of these, um, however many you need. A lot will fit in there. But on the side, let's see, I just label it DSS, which is my um, code that I like to use. So this is die storage, uh, what is this thing called? Set. I don't know. I don't remember what the other S stands for. What are these called? Well, if this is dice, dice, the DSS. Anyway, we'll just forget whatever it's for. And then, so I'll look inside and I'll see, okay, so I have one, two, uh, can you guys see? Three, um, this one doesn't belong in here. This is, see this one doesn't even belong in here. This one says DB, which is the, a die binder. So I have to take that one out. It don't even go in there. Um, two, three, four is missing maybe. Oh, here's four. I didn't put it in the right spot. So um, anyway, three, there's four back there, five and six. So the next one that I'm gonna be putting in there is seven. So I'm gonna put four where it goes. Now it's in the right spot, okay? And this will go in the die binder, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. But this one goes in here because it's a longer one and um, it, it's a... Uh... So if you look at this one, it has holes in it. So the ones that go in the binder have the three hole punches in them. And then the ones that go in the paper storage container if you look, do not have holes in them. And I wasn't gonna punch a hole in there and they're too big anyway. So if you look at this one compared to this one, um, you can see that the sizing, it's the size is, uh, it's bigger. So this one will fit in the binder, this one will not. And so we're just gonna call this one uh, D S S and the last number was six, so this one will be seven. So DSS seven, peel the sticker out, stick it in the corner, and that goes in here. 
And the reason why I really like this system is because you can put your dies wherever you want. Uh, you don't have, they don't have to all be in the same spot. So yeah, these can be um, in DSS-7. And how am I going to know what is in DSS-7 is through an app. So this is Evernote. It's a free program in the App Store. I have an iPhone, so I use the App Store. And this is the home screen, what I get when I first pull it up. And I go to the sidebar and I have a area called notebooks and it has colors, Cricut, dies, stamps. And I'm gonna collect, select the dies area and it's gonna say new, I'm gonna select new and it's gonna say note and I'm gonna select note. And here's where I'm gonna put the title of my die set here. So it says dies on the top so I already know it's in the die category. And the die is called DSS7. And then I'm gonna put the title. So this is the cake pop-up dies. And you can put dies or not because you'll know it's a die because it's in the die category. Uh, or you can leave it off. I think I'm choosing to leave it off. Here's now I'm going to select the camera. And the amazing thing about this thing is it just automatically takes the picture for you and it does an excellent job. And then you just save the picture, and there it is, right there on the screen. Oops, I accidentally took two pictures, so I'm gonna delete one of them. So all you have to do is select the image that you want to delete, and then at the bottom it says delete image, and you delete it, and then you just have the one image there. Now you're gonna go up to tags, and here's where you're gonna put label your die. So you can put Anna Griffin if you want. You can put birthday. So this is a birthday die, of course. Or you can use it for anniversaries. So I'm gonna put anniversaries. You can use it for um, parties. Like if someone's having a party, you might just want a cake. So you can put it in party. And these are tags that you make yourself. So um, they are whatever you want. So you see at the top of the screen it said, party, birthday, and anniversary. And now you see that the die is in my Evernote. And so that's how it works. So say I just find out that it's my friend's birthday and I wanna make a birthday card. I need to go into notes, into my dies, and I'm gonna look for birthday. And when I type in birthday, it's gonna bring up anything that's just birthday. So the cake pop up, is birthday but the other die wasn't so it only showed me the birthday die and if that's the die i decide to use it says dss7 so i'll just go into my file and pull out dss7 and use that for my card so that's how i catalog my dies or i'm starting to catalog my dies as you can see i hadn't actually done it all yet i'm just getting started um, I did my stamps, which is why I knew I was going to love my dies, but I'll show you guys that in another video. And so with that system, um, it's, uh, uh, there's some people who do a physical catalog like this, and I'm going to just show you this one. And so I started out doing a physical catalog where I put the, like a, a theme or a category, like this is music stamps or whatever, it could be music dies, whatever it is in in this like um 12 by 12 binder system some people have a a different kind of binder system but this didn't work for me because there was just too much to look at uh, my eyes don't focus all that well sometimes when there's a lot going on and so i just needed something that was a little bit more slimmed down and plus it was gonna get so bulky and heavy to carry around and I, would, I mean, not to carry around, but just to pull out every time I needed it to look at. And so I, I found myself not pulling it out, but my phone is like always in my hand, <laughs> unfortunately. And so, you know, it's easy just to look on there. If I'm sitting on the couch or I'm just thinking about something, I can look and say, oh, do I have a, what do I have for birthday dies? Or what do I have for um, anniversary dies or whatever, or stamps or whatever versus this, I'd have to go find it, look through it, 
it wasn't for me. All right, back to organizing these dies. I wanted to bring over my other dies where I also keep my dies. I also keep dies in here. And this is a, something that I just keep in a drawer and I flip through here. So say I had 15 dies and I just got a new die and now I'm like, okay, what do I do? Well, the next die is gonna be die number 16. So I'm going to grab another envelope here. I'm gonna grab another magnetic mat. I'm gonna put whatever die goes on here. Let's see if I have one. I got the flourishes that I haven't taken off of their carrier sheet yet. So once these are on here, all fully, they're not yet, I would take this, <clears throat> and like I was saying, since the last one says 15, I would make this one 16, but I do have more than just the 15, so I'm gonna put F, F, and F, F on my system, it stands for fab file. So this is a fab file from the Totally Tiffany range, and these pockets come with it, and these die, or these come with it, if you get the right ones. Sometimes you can get them without the extra stuff, just the container. Um, but so this one's going to be 56 actually on my system and I would put this into Evernote then I would label it peel off the sticker stick it here and I'll stick this in the back oh wait I'd stick it in the pocket they're all off of the carrier sheet this can go in the trash and then this goes in here and then this would go in the back now I am frugal so I do put more than one die set um, in a pocket I'll show you one that's already done um, let's see FF4 this has one die set in the front so if I pull it out and then one die set in the back. But you'll notice I don't have two numbers. They're, they're in the same pocket, so it's all FF4. So when I put it into Evernote and I put them both, they'll both be called FF4, but this one will be the name of this die set and then this one will be the name of this die set. Okay, moving on. But the next way that I store my dies is in a die binder. So this is a binder. It's labeled DB1 through 10. I will have multiple binders. The next binder will be DB11 through have whatever, however many I put in there. And when I open it, I'll have DB1, two, there's some on the back, three, four, and this is five and six. So this is gonna be DB5, and then this one's gonna be DB6. And in order to put away these one that I have not filed away, they are going to go um, in here on this magnetic part here. And now that they're all on this magnetic sheet together, the two in the front will go into the system as DB5 and 6, and then the two on the back will go into the system as DB7 and 8. Okay, and the last way that I store my dies is in here. I think we're gonna need a wide shot of. Here. 
This is a totally Tiffany um, scrap rack binder. And in here I have stamps and dies, but we'll just talk about the dies for now. So I have them in pockets. It's hard to see um, the pockets. Uh, there's the, sh the light is shining on them. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, they're in pockets. Maybe I, these are too small. So there's smaller pockets um, and then there's bigger pockets. So maybe you can see the bigger pockets. Anyway, so these are the bigger pockets here. And they even get even bigger after that. So then you have even bigger ones here. And mostly all of my Crafters Companion dies are in here. So all of my Anna Griffin dies are in the other places where you saw. And then my Crafters Companion dies are in here. And so like these are these kind of dies right here. As you can see, I have the whole set here. And they come with um, stamps too. There's stamps and dies. And with these, I have the, the, the stamp and the die stored together. And this is pocket number 8104. And so if I need to find that in Evernote, I would type in eight dash, no. I would type in wishing if I was looking for a stamp that said wishing or something that was like, um, wishing you all the best and this would come up because I would put that into Evernote so um, that's where I store these kind of um, dies so as you can see you can put your dies wherever you want you could have them in the garage you could have them at a friend's house you could have them in a storage unit and you'd be able to find them because all you have to do is know what everything your your code means you put the code on there so you know what it means i know that the pockets are in different configurations so i know that these pockets are there's 12 pockets so that's why this one says 12 116 so i know that if i'm if i see that number it's going to be in this binder because this one has the pockets that have the different numbers on them that um, this is an eight pocket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight pockets. And so I know that this is eight, 104. So I just come to the eights and I know where that one was. This is a six pocket, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I would know this was in the six pocket system and so on and so forth. So that's a lot. Hopefully it makes sense. If not, ask any questions, but that's how I store my dies and um, keep them all organized, put them wherever I want and, um, know where to find them. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Share this with a crafty friend and, um, talk to you guys later. Bye.